Some of our customers have had it successfully registered as a low speed neighborhood vehicle. And that means that they can drive it in and around neighborhoods and typically within a certain mile radius of your residence. Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Import Motors. I'm Caleb Nelson. Purpose of this video is to talk about uh, registering and the legality or um, street use of a Chang Li. We call it the Grunt or the Chang Li truck and we call that the Pack Yak. It all depends on your state. That's the bottom line. Uh, and it really, it, depends also on the on the vehicle on on this this particular Cheng Li. Um, what I want everybody to keep in mind is that uh, this is not a car. Uh, it is a mini car. It's like a car and a golf cart had a baby. Boom, you got a Cheng Li. That means that it's missing specific key elements from a safety aspect uh, to make it a car. You um, if you've seen some of these videos, you've seen that they don't have airbags. Uh, there's no side impact airbags. There's no um, anti-roll features. There's no uh, uh, anti-lock electric brakes. Um, these are uh, really similar to a golf cart um, and more similar to the safety of a golf cart than a car. Wherever you would feel comfortable driving a golf cart is where you should picture driving this which means it's not intended for highway use, not intended for byway use, it's not intended for freeway use, it's uh, not intended really for use on streets where the uh, speed limit is above 25 miles per hour. Some of our customers have had it successfully registered as a low speed neighborhood vehicle, and that means that they can drive it in and around neighborhoods and typically within a certain mile radius of your residence. These are intended for private use. So in golf cart communities, um, uh, fully gated communities, golf cart paths, certain aspects like that. So a lot of our customers are located in Florida, Texas, California, where golf carts are heavily used. And this is a great alternative to that. Not only is it cheaper, comes with a lot more amenities to it and uh, honestly, it's a much more comfortable experience than in a golf cart. If you're thinking of this to use it as a car, to go on busy streets and be at higher speeds along with uh, trucks and semis and the rest, um, don't. This is the last type of vehicle that you want to be in an accident with. Um, although it does have um, a bunch of safety features, such as horn, you've got blinkers, you've got brights, you've got hazards right here, you've got um, windshield wipers. Uh, you've got a lot of cool things to this, but it's not a car. And I want to make sure that you, uh, we've had a lot of questions of like, hey, I don't have a license. Can I still operate um, the Chang Li? without a license? Uh, the answer is if you want to get it registered, the, no. Anything on street use, you have to have a license on if it's um, a motor vehicle. Same with a scooter. Um, you need to have a license to, to get it registered. Uh, so this is not kind of a, a workaround to not having a license. This is not a workaround to um, being older and elderly, even though the original use in China was more for that. Here in the States, it's a little bit different. We have more of a strict uh, Department of Transportation that makes sure that uh, different aspects of the car are DOT certified. Brings me to my next point. Um, these cars are not DOT certified, which means um, you cannot get them registered uh, as it stands right now to uh, drive on freeway, highway, or above use. Keep in mind these cars go 25 miles an hour. 
So you do not want to be traveling on a 30 mile an hour street or a 40 mile an hour street uh, with cars that are zooming past you and you're going top speed of 25. Uh, I think it's really important that people understand where and how they can use these. Um, and we've had a lot of customers love them for their communities in the areas that they're in, whether they're uh, using it for commercial uh, property, uh, residential property, um, or uh, in a uh, private uh, community that they might live in where golf carts are plentiful and they want something that's a little bit more comfortable. Electric import motors is just that. We are the importer. We are not the manufacturer. Uh, we aren't uh, the factory in China that is putting them together. Uh, we have found that clients uh, here in the United States love these cars. What they don't love is dealing with shipping, duties, taxes, paperwork to get them from China to their door. They want a company to deal with that for them and they'd be happy to make that work. We are that company, which means uh, because we're not the manufacturer, uh, we can't change specific aspects to the car, like making it DOT certified or adding these features or adding safety features. We are simply the importer that's bringing it and the go-between that's bringing it from the factory straight to your uh, door in uh, Wherversville, USA that you might live so that you can be able to enjoy the car and uh, really have fun with it. I hope this uh, has answered some of your questions on getting it registered. Uh, if you have any specific questions, drop a comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, make sure uh, that this content keeps flowing out. If you're watching this video, chances are uh, you like these cars and have some desire to learn a little bit more about it, and we hope to keep bringing it to you. Uh, you can also check us out at electricimportmotors at gmail.com or www.electricimportmotors.com. Thanks, guys.